Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas. We are using a new item type, hot text, which is number 11 off the redesign practice online start test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So let's check out how the hot text works. So the, there are four different answer choices here, right? And you're going to just drag, but watch. You notice you can actually put the same answer in both. I would not recommend that, but you can actually put in hot text the same answer in both. In drag and drop, you cannot use the same answer twice. So if you want to use two different answers, that's fine. Now watch what happens when I try to use just one answer and then submit. There's going to be an error message that says, hold on, you've only selected one answer. So let's not move on. All right, so you could just drag it out to get it. So let's actually work on solving the problem. I'm going to use my graph text, my graph draw feature, expand it out, get a little bit more transparency so I can see what's happening behind there. All right. So Clara is making three different types of gift baskets. Each gift basket contains fruit, candy, uh, fruit, candy, or cookies. All right, you know what I'm going to do since I've got these boxes here? Let me use a larger grid size. Watch this. Let's work smarter, not harder. I'm going to use the connect line feature. And I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to count out one two, three, four, five, six. The reason I want to do six is because look at the denominator. The denominator is 12. So if I were to do this, check this out. I have a nice visual representation of twelfths. Two rows of six. All right, so I'm going to switch to my draw feature. And it says three twelfths of the basket contain fruit. All right. So I'm going to use black and I'll just put an F. So three twelfths. So I've got my twelfths here. So I'm going to do one, two, three. All right. So there's my three twelfths of fruit. Now five twelfths contain candy. So this is out of the same hole. All right, so I'm going to use green, and I'll do a C for candy. Five twelfths. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so it looks like uh, I've got the rest containing cookies. Okay, so the rest. And you notice they don't tell you what that is, but you know what? We can probably figure out what that is really quick. Cookies, I've already used a C for candy, right? So I'm going to just put, I guess, CK for cookies. And that's just anything that's left, the rest. CK, 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 and CK. So what do I have? Well, I've got uh, one, two, three, four. So look at that, four twelfths. So I need to take these expressions. Not all of them are going to be used. The fraction of baskets that contain fruit or candy. Okay, fruit or candy. Let's get into yellow. Fruit or candy. Uh, that's still magenta. That's fine. That's the F. And that's the C. One, two, three. Three twelfths and one, two, three, four, five. Three twelfths and five twelfths. Fruit and candy. All right, so it's going to be this one. So watch this. I'm just going to kind of... Minimize that. Let me go ahead and move that to the correct answer. There we go. All right, so 3 tw three twelfths plus 5 twelfths. This is a two-point problem, so you can get one right and one wrong if you want to, but if you want to get both answers correct for two points, we got to do that. The fraction of baskets that contain cookies. Cookies is the leftovers, right? So what we did, watch this. You can take your whole thing and then you could subtract the two, the, th the cookies, and the candy and the fruit. So we're going to take this one right here, and that's our answer.